I'm going to add the fish. back to my channel thank you so much guys for stopping by this is grandma in case you're coming across this channel for the very first time thank you so much for stopping by i love you so so much in today's video i'm going to show you how to prepare ibat sauce this ibat is fresh fish that i bought in the evening market yesterday night so as i came back there was no time i had to wash it and then store it in the freezer so as i'm going to prepare this ibat sauce you can use it to eat with rice you can eat it with plantain, you can eat it with yam. You can as well use it and eat it because, you know, it is more like stew. So I'm going to show you the fish. That is the ibat. Ibat is a local fish. In my language, we call it ibat. So I'm going to show you the fish and all the ingredients that I'll be using to prepare it. I don't know if you have seen this fish before. We call this ibat in my language. It's a fresh fish, but it's a local fish. So I got this in the evening market and then I store it in the freezer. So this is what I'm going to use. It's very fresh, you can see it. I equally have here the stock. This is beef stock that I prepared and then store in the freezer. I also have here chopped onions. And here I have my fresh blended tomatoes you can see it so these are the things that i'm going to be using to prepare this ibat sauce and i'm also going to use palm oil in preparing it so let's go down to the stove The tomatoes is dry enough, so I'm going to add the fish. I'm going to add the fish. Adding pepper. I'm adding crayfish. Also salt to taste. I'm not going to stay it so much because remember it is fresh fish so that it will not scatter. I'm going to cover this and allow it to steam for at least three minutes before adding the stock. You know, fresh fish like this, you don't need to be stirring it so much because it is fresh so that it will not scatter. So I will just shake the pot and allow it to cook. I'm going to cover this and allow it to cook for three minutes before adding a little stock. I'm going to add a little of the stock. I'm going to add the scent leaf. This is in tongue leaf. The Igbos call it efiri. So I'm adding this because I want it to give me a very nice aroma. I'm going to allow this to cook for 30 seconds and then put it down and serve with rice. Yes, guys, the food is ready. This is how inviting it is. I'm sure you can see it for yourself. This is ibat sauce or ibat stew and rice. Oh my goodness. This is a very good combination. 
so you can come and have yours i'm sure you love the video if you did don't forget to like thumbs up and also share thanks for watching see you in my next video bye guys